Hey everyone. Happy Friday. Welcome to another Facebook Live. Just noticing my sweatshirt was all messed up here. Um, I hope everyone had a good week and um, has uh, had a uh, productive, uh, fun, um, less stressful week. Um, yeah, I had a highlight of my week so far this week. Uh, if I had to pick something, it was uh, heading down to Boston with my kids on Tuesday. Um, they're on school vacation this week, so perfect time to do a little day vacation. Uh, went down to Boston, went on the duck boat tour. If you don't know what a duck boat tour is, basically these boat, uh, these cars. Or, I guess they're modeled out of, out of, after vehicles. I think it's World War II vehicles um, where they can ride both on land and water. Um, so they take you for a tour around the city and then at some point they um, go into the Charles River in Boston and do a little, um, I guess, boat tour uh, of the Charles River. Um, so the kids love that. Um, we had a lot of fun going down there and just seeing the city. They're fascinated by the tall buildings and of course, love the tour and going in the water and all that fun stuff. So we had a good time. We had lunch and, and just a good uh, father, son, daughter day. Um, and I hope you did some fun this week too. Um, and then top top off this week, I'm going away for my week uh, with the, this weekend with uh, my wife. So uh, pretty great week all around um, from that point of view. Uh, but this week, I want to talk about something that I think everyone who's on this health and wellness journey uh, is inevitably going to run into at some point, myself included, um, but I, I say everyone because um, health and wellness is a pursuit that uh, has no finish line. Um, it's a lifelong journey. It's something that you are always going to be working at, hopefully, for the rest of your life. Um, and that's not to sound daunting or to sound like uh, it's, you know, uh, something to dread, but um, it's just a, a fact of life, you know, um, uh, things are always changing and different challenges come up um, all the time. And so I need to adjust and, and try new things and, and explore and learn new things. So um, it's just a, a fact of life that uh, along the way, when you're going through your lifelong health and wellness journey, that you're going to have periods of time where your motivation is super high and you um, have all the motivation in the world and you easy, eating is, is easy, meal prepping is easy, going to the gym is easy, um, you know, uh, you're, you're just dialed in, right? You're, you're on the ball. And then there's gonna be times where you're just gonna wanna say, I don't feel like doing any of this. <laughs> I don't feel like um, going to the gym. I don't feel like meal prepping. I'd rather someone bring me my food and I want that food to be super hyper palatable and I don't want to get off the couch. Um, and even though you know um, that you should be, shouldn't be doing these things, um, your motivation just isn't there. Like uh, everyone falls into these periods of time um, for one reason or another. I mean, it's because there's other things happening in your life that are, um, you know, wearing you down or um, you've been doing the same thing for too long and you've kind of just lost that drive to to continue to do those things or whatnot. And so um, inevitably as I'm working with clients, I generally work with them for at least six months, if not longer. Um, you know, in a six month period, people's motivation goes in highs and lows. Uh, and uh, as a coach, I've learned that um, you know, this is inevitable, uh, it's gonna happen. And, but I also learned that when motivation is low, it's probably not the best time to be a hard ass and to, you know, beat yourself up or beat the client up because they're not doing what they said they do or should do or you want them to do. Um, I'm certainly not a hard ass really at any time when I coach my clients, but especially when I can tell that uh, their motivation isn't, you know, as high as it should be. Um, I, you know, I pump the brakes on all things, right? Um, and so I find that this works really well because instead of trying to get them to do every single thing perfectly um, all the time, 
I say, okay, you know, I understand you, you don't want to or don't feel like doing your workout today or you don't want to feel like, you know, um, going to bed or at, you know, and staying off your phone or doing your meditation or, um, you know, eating at home or not eating the ice cream or whatever. So, okay, that's fine. Do what you want to do. But what are some things that, you know, I asked them, what are some things that we can do um, that at least kind of get you going in the right direction? Some basic things that, uh, you know, are, are just small wins, right? That, that kind of get that feeling back, like, okay, I, I can get back in this groove, right? Um, and <clears throat> so when the motivation is low, I like to focus on kind of go back to the basics and just look at small things, right? Maybe uh, you don't feel like going to the gym and working out, but can you go for a walk for 10 minutes? Can you go for a walk for 10 minutes and do some gentle mobility? Can you have one meal, at, eat, eat one meal at home and maybe eat out the rest of the time? Um, can you um, do two minutes of meditation instead of your normal 10 to 20 minutes of meditation? Um, so basically just take what they would normally do and just scale it back to something that's like, yeah, I can do two minutes of meditation. I can go for a 10 minute walk. I can, you know, make some eggs at home. I can, uh, you know, uh, do 10 squats, 15 push ups, and um, a couple kettlebell swings for three sets today. Um, so basically, I just, you know, Let's, let's build on small things. Hey, can you get off? Can you, can you go to bed by 10 o'clock tonight? Um, instead of, you know, staying up all night. Uh, so I just really scale everything back and just say, okay, can we do, you know, one or two things that are just really simple and easy. And, you know, then we can start to build that motivation back and, and, um, and, uh, you know, get them back in the groove and get them back in the swing of things. And, and show them that it doesn't have to be perfect all the time. It's normal to lose motivation um, and to to have things uh, kind of just come to a standstill. And it might seem re like it's just you know all hope's gone, but all hope's not gone. You can still do some things that that probably are very simple that are just very basic and give you uh, some benefit. Uh, and I, what I find is that you know it gives them a time to take some. A break right and um i think oftentimes motivation just is wanes because you just kind of lose it right there's only so much motivation that you can have and you kind of just deplete it to, to the point where you don't have it anymore and you need to gain it back so it gives them a little bit of break you know i usually give them a week or so to to, to go through that do some small stuff take the time they need uh, don't worry about tracking food or exercise or whatever just do some small basic stuff and within a week, you know, I find that they usually bounce back, right? And they're, they're back to where they need it. It's probably more just a, a mental break, a mental recharge week. Um, but oftentimes if you don't, if you, if you feel bad about yourself and you beat yourself up about it, like you're just like, oh, you know, why don't I have this motivation? Or why don't I, you know, why can't I get motivated to go to the gym or do this or eat right or whatnot? Um, you end up just kind of falling apart and make it makes it worse, right? Um, and and then you really, yeah, it's not just a week that you're unmotivated. It turns into a month or two months, and you're and you're kind of just, you know, back at square one. Before you know it, you just lost everything that you worked so hard for. So the first thing is really just don't beat yourself up about it. Like everyone loses motivation. I lose motivation. My clients lose motivation. All your health gurus out there lose motivation at some point, and they. They, um, you know, you know, I think what they all know what to do is when that happens is to not beat themselves up about it and to just do the basic stuff, get some small incremental wins that, that, um, uh, that just keep some, uh, keep you going in the right direction, give yourself a mental break and then say, okay, I'm going to recharge here, reset, refocus. Maybe make some changes to what I was doing before so that I can get some of that motivation back and switch things up and get me kind of excited about what I'm doing. Right. So what I like to do is like, okay, well, what can we do differently for my clients that are going to go and get them back to where they were and get them more excited? Um, so maybe inject some some nuance or some some novelty into your your health and wellness routine that will get you excited once again. 
and then that will get the motivation back uh, back to where it was. Um, so uh, with that, I'll, I'll end it here. I hope everyone has had a good week and has a good weekend this weekend um, and uh, does something fun. Hopefully get outside. Uh, we're still hoping for spring weather here in, in New Hampshire. It's been cold and rainy, uh, but I'm, I'm hoping and praying for warm weather to show up soon. I'm sure in typical New England fashion, you know, just the flip, the switch is going to flip and it's going to be 90 degrees here at some point and we're going to miss the entire spring, but it is what it is. Um, still hoping for that, but uh, take what I can get. Uh, if you uh, want to get all this content that I put out on a weekly basis uh, delivered right to you in your inbox, uh, I suggest you go sign up for my newsletter, which is at rjbhealth.coach. You go to my website, right at the top, there's a newsletter link, click that link, enter your email address, and you'll get on the newsletter, and I send out a couple emails a week, uh, including links to this, uh, these Facebook Lives that I do, as well as um, all the all the blog posts and, and stuff like that uh, that I post uh, go out to my newsletter. Uh, so uh, do that if you're not already signed up for the newsletter or what are you waiting for. Uh, if you have any you know tips or tricks around motivation, how not to lose your motivation, or strategies you might have used, please you know, leave them in the comments. Uh, I'd love to hear from you um, and uh, love to uh, have this engage in useful discussions around the topics I talk about. So um, if you need help or you've lost your motivation or wondering what to do or um, have suggestions for other people, please leave them in the comments, direct message me, whatever you'd like. And uh, if you are interested in coaching, um, like I've said the uh, past few weeks, i kind of full at the moment, so, uh, but you can join the waiting list. So if you go to my website again, rjbhealth.coach and uh, jump on the waiting list by clicking the schedule discovery call button, uh, you fill out a form and I'll get you right on the waiting list. So when I do have spots open, we can connect and uh, see if we're good to work together. Uh, with that said, um, I'll sign off for the week and hope you have all good, have a good weekend and I'll talk to you all next week.